So what's up, Movie Club? So I didn't do reviews last week because I was kind of moving. As you can see, things have kind of changed around here. Uh, but I haven't really found a good camera placement that I really like. But this is what I'm going with right now just to get this review done. But uh, this week for Movie Club, we reviewed God Bless America. God Bless America came out in 2011 and it stars Bill Murray. Now, did I say Bill Murray? Yes, I meant Bill Murray's brother, Joel Murray. The less popular one, I didn't even know he had another brother. Uh, he's kind of known for a lot of TV shows and stuff. I've never seen him before. Um, I've never seen most of these people in this movie before. So, I mean, here's the quick review of this movie. What did I just watch? Now, if you ever seen the movie Falling Down with Michael Douglas, it's kind of like that. Guy pretty much gets tired of all the shit that happens day to day and decides to stand up for himself and go take people out. This is basically the premise of this movie, except he does it with all those pop culture icons that pretty much make American reality TV today. Now, I can't say I disagree with a lot of his views. I don't watch American Idol. I don't watch the Kardashians. I don't watch my Super Sweet 16, I think it was. I don't watch any of those shows. I hate them all. I can't stand them. Obviously, kind of really hit on Fox News a lot because there's a guy in there that's very Glenn Beck-like or Bill O'Reilly-like. I mean, he hates disc jockeys. He just hates how America is nowadays with random rumors and gossip. And I agree with him on a lot of things. But I'm also not crazy and gonna go and kill all these people. So this guy really hates, like, all the pop culture and stuff. And it kind of, like, affects a lot of the day-to-day -day life. His co-workers are very into it. Um, everywhere he turns, he has to deal with a bunch of stupid shit and a bunch of ungrateful people, including his own daughter. His own daughter's in grateful little shit. Uh, his co-workers are, all they talk about is gossip and rumors of celebrities, gets fired from his job, he finds out he's terminally ill, and of course all this combined into one makes him snap finally and just go off on a rampage and kill all these people. Now he picks up a high school girl along the way who helps him out, and it sounds weird, but honestly it is strictly platonic. And you think the main character in this is psychotic? Wait till you see the little girl. The high school girl that goes along with him and helps kill all these people, she's like thrilled by killing. She almost gets off on killing. She hates these people and she's glad they're dead. She suggest half the people they should kill and she feels no remorse for them. She's pretty much a psychopath is what it is. Um, at first I was like, this is very Bonnie and Clyde, but it's hard to say it's very Bonnie and Clyde when nobody is chasing these guys. Nobody is really looking for them. Nobody's trying to find out who these guys are. They're just kind of reporting, oh, these guys got killed, these guys got killed. And I wanted to see like the cops after them or something on that aspect, and it never really happened. This movie kind of goes from making good points about, yes, America does have really shitty TV and we our values are very very fucked up but the main character guy just rants constantly about it just it's almost like he's preaching throughout the movie and he's always preaching to his sidekick girl or just out loud and he's just thinking about it or to his co-worker and it gets annoying after a while I don't really care what his feelings are about things fucking kind of get over it that's one of the reasons why I don't have cable TV so I don't have to watch that shit I would rather go to Netflix and pick and choose what I want to watch I don't need to channel surf anymore that's the beauty of the internet today at first I was like I don't know how to review this movie but honestly I'm just gonna say I like the points of the movie but it's not a good movie I don't think we think about those people like that they're so fucking stupid and I wish they would just go away not saying kill them or anything i'm just saying just go away and put them off tv stop making them famous but the movie itself is not that good and it just turns into like a ramble a rant uh it's it just kind of gets very repetitive after a while and i just didn't really care for it okay i'm gonna throw this out there he did kill one group of people i really could care less if they got wiped off the face of the earth and that was the westboro baptist church people i honestly smiled when they got killed on the movie but another thing i had to mention about this movie is that these people that they go and kill you'd think that they would start groveling or begging for their lives but honestly most of these people were just very defiant to the very end it was very much like just uh fuck you kill me i don't care and i didn't really expect that i didn't find that part believable at all but but hey i guess it made for very interesting parts of the movie some of the reasons that they talk about killing people are retarded like uh giving high fives or somebody who drinks energy drinks all day who the hell thinks of this shit i mean i feel like he's just like randomly writing things down like i hate energy drinks i'm going to kill all everybody who drinks energy drinks and it's i don't know just random stupid shit that would be like why would somebody kill somebody that's almost like a wife killing a husband because he didn't put the seat down i mean it's weird random shit like that it's like petty things they're going to start killing people for and those are the reasons that make it really hard to side with these people yeah they're kind of the heroes of the movie, but they're really the anti-heroes of the movie. I'm not really rooting for them. I don't really care what they do. I feel like this movie is very predictable, though, because I feel like the end is exactly how you'd expect it to happen. Um, they kind of just push you to that ending, like it's going to happen. Even though they're not being chased, there's got to be a big showdown, right? I mean, that's the way those movies are. But um, that's really all I have to say about this movie. Um, if I were you, I'd skip it and just kind of look past it. Don't really have much else to say. Um, I can't wait to see what we do next week, and I'll talk to you later in the movie club. Bye.